Elon Musk's boring company is expanding its tunnel drilling and transportation network outside of the United States for the first time. This marks the most ambitious move we've seen from the boring company, but it's also likely their smartest decision yet and the most probable to succeed on the international stage. The company has just announced the Dubai Loop, a new transit project for one of the world's most famous cities. This initiative is being developed in partnership with the Dubai Road and Transit Authority, RTA. What we're seeing today is only phase one, a pilot project that will set the stage for a larger transit system. This system will manage everything from the city's marine transport network to monorails, sky trains, and superhighways, and is currently working on several futuristic autonomous electric transit solutions. The Boring Company is the newest addition to this network. The Dubai Loop Pilot Project will consist of 11 stations across 17 kilometers of tunnel, capable of transporting over 20,000 people per hour. The Boring Company claims potential speeds of up to 100 miles per hour within the loop, which would cut travel time between key points in Dubai to just minutes. The ultimate goal is to expand the system to handle over 100,000 passengers per hour in an underground transportation network throughout the Emirate of Dubai. This plan was officially announced on February 13 when representatives from the Boring Company arrived in Dubai for the World Government Summit. They signed a memorandum of understanding with the RTA chairman and the Crown Prince of Dubai, Hamdan bin Mohammed. The contract was also drawn up under the leadership of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai. Elon Musk later appeared at the summit, where, in an interview with Dubai's artificial intelligence minister, he described the new tunnel system as being like a wormhole. You just wormhole from one part of the city and you're out in another part of the city. In reality, the Boring Company's loop won't be a cosmic gateway through space and time, but it will resemble what we've already seen in Las Vegas, electric Tesla vehicles moving through relatively narrow tunnels. However, the Dubai operation promises to take this concept to the next level by launching high-occupancy pod vehicles that are autonomously controlled by artificial intelligence. This would be a natural implementation of Tesla's new Roboven concept, and Dubai is the perfect location for the boring company right now. The approach to development and construction in Dubai is radically different from that in the United States or any Western nation. In the 1990s, the government of Dubai decided to diversify away from crude oil and into a service-based economy. In 1991, there was only one skyscraper in Dubai, which grew to six by 1998. Today, there are over 260 skyscrapers. After the boom at the turn of the century, Dubai became one of the fastest-growing cities in the world, and it still is. In fact, 25% of all construction cranes in the world are operating in Dubai today. The city has built the world's tallest building, the world's largest shopping mall, the world's largest water fountain, and is currently constructing the world's largest amusement park, Dubai Land, which will be twice the size of Disneyland. Dubai is so obsessed with building that they've even started creating new land to build on. The Palm Jumeirah is an entire suburb constructed on an artificial island shaped like a palm tree, and they're currently working on a second palm-shaped island neighborhood. The World Islands is another project, a chain of man-made islands, each themed after a different country. Yes, there's even a North Korea island. All this is to say that if there's anywhere in the world where you want to build something absolutely insane, Dubai is 100% the place to do it. So, Elon Musk and the Boring Company are likely to get along just fine here. Dubai's geography also lends itself well to the Boring Company's loop design. The majority of the city is built in a long, narrow strip along the coast of the Persian Gulf. This means you don't need an octopus-like network of side tunnels running everywhere. Instead, you could service most of Dubai with a two-way, dual-bore tunnel running underneath the city's main highway, branching out into smaller collector loops through high-traffic areas in the downtown. This appears to be the most likely candidate for where the Boring Company will start with their pilot loop project. If we measure from Dubai Old City at one end to Dubai Marina at the other, it's about 30 kilometers. What the Boring Company is proposing now would already cover as much as half of that distance. It's worth noting that neither the company nor the government has specified whether the 17 kilometers of tunnel refers to the entire amount of tunnel going in both directions or the above-ground distance the tunnel will cover from Station 1 to Station 11. 
As for where the boring company would start with their pilot loop, anywhere around the Burj Khalifa would be a safe bet. It's a triangular district bordered on two sides by giant roadways, with a canal running down the other side. Even in this highly developed area, there are still a few empty lots visible on satellite images that the boring company could easily use as staging grounds for a new tunnel dig. Another reason Dubai is a perfect fit for the boring company is the city's current obsession with sustainable, efficient urban transport. The boring company isn't the only deal they're working on. Dubai also announced a transportation project called Railbus, which is essentially the same idea as the boring company's system, except it operates above ground instead of below. Railbus is an electric, autonomous vehicle that drives on elevated solar panel roadways. At the same World Government Summit, the chairman of Dubai's RDA also met with Robin Lee, the head of Chinese company Baidu, which specializes in artificial intelligence and mapping. The RTA said the meeting focused on exploring technological advancements in autonomous vehicles. So, in the context of Dubai, the boring company isn't special, it's just one of a hundred megaprojects on the table right now. This might be disappointing to boring company fans who want it to be the one and only future of transportation, but in a city built for luxury and abundance, of course, there are going to be multiple futuristic, high-tech transportation systems to choose from. The upside is that, for once, the boring company will be able to fly under the radar in Dubai. They're just another drop in the bucket, not a headline project that will draw public consultations, budget proposals, and city council committees, as we've seen time and again in the United States. In this case, both the Crown Prince and the Sheik of Dubai have approved the project, and not a single person is going to argue with them. For example, the Palm Island project was constructed entirely based on an idea and design from the Sheik himself. It was his idea to pile sand and rocks directly into the ocean to create the islands instead of using a foundation of concrete and steel. According to NASA, Palm Island is sinking into the sea at a rate of one inch every five years. The water inside the barrier is stagnant and polluted with sewage, while the water outside is infested with jellyfish. In fact, most of Dubai has a sewage problem because they built above-ground infrastructure much faster than underground infrastructure. Instead of a sewer system, all human waste gets pumped into trucks and driven to a treatment plant. I'm not saying authoritarian governments are good, but they do get stuff done, one way or another. What this also means for the boring company is that they themselves will be the real limiting factor. We've seen the company make progress over the past four years, but they still have a long way to go. Even with a green light to build over 100 kilometers of tunnel and over 100 stations in Las Vegas, they have yet to achieve even 10% of that goal. The speed they've been chasing with the proofrock boring machine is a snail's pace of 7 meters per day. However, with projects like the Tesla Giga Texas Cyber Tunnel and the Las Vegas Convention Center extensions, they're much closer to one mile every seven months. What we're going to see in Dubai is a boring company free of regulations, funded with unlimited capital, and expected to deliver the fastest, most efficient, high-tech, luxurious transportation system in the world. This won't be about shuffling around convention goers in Vegas anymore. These are the richest, most powerful people in the world, and they will expect nothing less than perfection. So, it's time for the boring company to quit being boring and get boring.